if you want to get started in stop motion but you really don't know what gear you need to get started, in today's video we'll be going over a complete guide of everything you need to make stop motion videos. Hey guys, welcome back to Learning Curve Tech, where I learn tech with you. And on this channel, we do stop motion tutorials and other creative tech videos every weekend. So if you are looking for those kinds of videos, consider subscribing. The first thing you are going to want to get to start out in stop motion is your stop motion software. For a budget option, you can actually use a free app for iOS and Android smartphones called Stop Motion Studio. I do have some more videos covering stop motion studio in more detail. So if you want to check those out, they'll be right up here or in the description below. Now, if you are able to spend more money, I would recommend that you get Stop Motion Pro Eclipse. It is $185 and it works on Windows and Mac computers. You can also check out videos about that up above as well. I've also heard of another stop motion software called iStopMotion, which runs on Mac and iOS, and it's only $20. But again, you can only run it if you have an Apple device. Now in the third tier, you know, the professional level, you can pick up DragonFrame for around 300 bucks. As I've said before, this is a great software and it's used professionally on a lot of big budget stop motion films, but it is rather expensive. I know there are a lot more softwares and apps that I have not covered in this video. So if you think that there's one that you wanna mention, let me know in the comments below. Once you have your app or software, you are going to need a camera. Now, now, if you are using a phone, you do not need a camera, but if you are using a computer, you will need a camera with a USB connection. If you are on a budget, I recommend getting a Logitech webcam like the C920. The C920 is $80, but there are several more expensive and less expensive options that Logitech sells right now. I used to use the C615 for all of my stop motions. Link up above if you want to check those out. For the mid-range budget, you should get a DSLR like the Canon Rebel T6, which is a camera I used. Canon is considered the best camera brand for stop motion, so definitely get a Canon over any other brand. Also, make sure whatever cam you buy, whether it's a webcam or a DSLR, make sure that it works with your software. If it doesn't, it's pointless because you won't be able to use it to make stop motion at all. Now for the top level pro cameras, I recommend a few different cameras depending on what software you are using. Some of the best are the Canon 5D, 1DX, or EOS R. These are all really expensive cameras, but these are the cameras that you will see on professional stop motion sets. I'll have a video right up here if you wanna learn more about the best cameras for stop motion. If you are finding this video helpful so far, please hit the like button. That would be amazing. Now this next piece of gear is very important. It is your tripod. This is pretty much a must have if you are making stop motion. On a budget, a little mini tripod like this one would do. They're only around $10, I think. Also, Manfrotto sells a super high quality phone clamp that you can use to attach your phone to a tripod and it's only $20. So really just look for a good sturdy tripod because a tripod can really make or break your stop motion. Now, if you have some money, I use a Niwa tripod, which I love for stop motion and it's around $150. Also, it comes with a fluid head so you can get really smooth pans and tilts with this tripod. One thing to keep in mind though, these cheaper tripods don't always have the best build quality so that will be something that you'll definitely want to remember when buying a tripod but they do a decent job for the big budgets out there Manfrotto, Setchler, Satchler, I don't know how to pronounce that and O'Connor are considered the best brands for tripods out there or you can always just go all out and buy a $30,000 motion control camera robot but Obviously, I don't have enough money for that. After you have your software and your camera and your tripod, it's time to get some lights. For a budget light setup, you can use desk lamps if you have some. Just check out this video to learn more about how you can make your budget lighting look like professional lighting. If you have some cash to spend, I use the Niwa 480 LED light panel. This is a great light for stop motion. As it is bicolor, it has a removable diffuser and it doesn't heat up or make any noise that much at all. For the people with a ton of money, just buy a sky panel. Don't worry, there are only $10,000. No, I'm joking, really don't spend that much on stop motion lighting. There are a lot of great lights out there that are under $1,000, so just try to find one that works for you. I don't have very expensive lights, so I can't really help you much on that one. Once you have all of your gear, you need something to animate. You can use Legos, clay, a toy car, or even a fully amateur character. If you want to learn more about how to make stop motion videos on any budget, 
check out the videos on the screen. You can also subscribe by clicking on the logo. That's all for now guys, and I'll see you next time on Learning Curve Tech.